Well, 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 hello there guys, welcome back to another of my great videos. Today we are gonna be talking about whether or not should you get A10 or A6E tram. So, this is gonna be a bit of gameplay and then we are gonna switch to, I mean gameplay of A10 and then we are gonna switch to A6E tram and make a comparison really quickly. Here I got two signed windows, I mean 9Ls, in 9Ls. Uh, that's the preset I chose for this. It's basically like just because I want to have something against planes, even though I got my like, um, I got my very powerful can right here. I mean, everybody knows that, but like, um, I would like to have in 9 L's because like they don't take as much of your uh, climb rate as any other boat really does. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna be destroying a couple of planes and I'm just gonna be wait. No, I'm just gonna be destroying a couple of planes and probably focusing on the ground targets as well I mean the basic ground targets um, so yeah I mean you don't really need anything else when you have a 30mm cannon so yeah there's this Su-25 oh Wait, did not die. Now it should die. Yeah, there we go. We got that 2.5. The really amazing thing about this thing is really just that it sits at 10.3 BR. And like, you can get much bigger down this, this thing than a6 e tram i mean yeah a6 e tram is really just about bombing bases and nothing else this thing this thing can do anything you want actually like, it's honestly kind of crazy but like yeah um you can put some 80 gms on it you can put like six 80 gms on it and like still have more bombs and still have two in nine else but that will take a lot actually like um, it will make a lot of its mass it will be even bigger mass you don't really want that to need that since it's really just enough of, uh, it's just enough uh, of weight on it already Will he die? Potentially. Oh, there we go. Two kills. Double kill. I mean, this thing is literally just, just so good. I'm doing a quest right now for the season. And this thing can absolutely shred everything. And for the difference between A6E tram, uh, A6E tram doesn't really have a, a canyon. I don't think you can really put a canyon on it. Um, like this thing has a canyon, real nice canyon. You cannot really put any cannons you have on ACSE tram like secondary weapons it's really just like bad honestly that, that's a bit what like not as good of a side from ACSE tram but like yeah I believe so it can still do good bombing bases but like if you want to have a lot of fun, 
I'm just gonna speak right now. Pick a ten. This thing, this thing, absolutely shreds. I got three kills and I got five ground targets. Isn't that amazing? And I still got one in nine now. This thing is just amazing in all aspects. So yeah, that would be about it about a ten. So besides that, I can say that that thing i mean a10 has 240 chef and 240 flares which is very good compared to this thing that has only 30 yeah it has flares and chef 60 feet. and so i guess yeah it has only 60 countermeasures so 30 flares and 30 chef or you can just be 60 players or 60 chat so yeah but about the secondary weapons let's see what do we actually like have you can you can put these though these are gonna give you a lot but like yeah oh you can actually put these on that's actually crazy i did not know that i'll put that right on and i'll see you in the battle in a second well we are back in battle with a6 e trend so what is good about A6E tram? It comes with its own radar here, as you can see. It has a very nice tram radar, is how they call it. So, yeah, that thing is very good for CAS uh, in ground battles. Like you can get some nice eight GMs with that, honestly. Another thing is it actually has a big bomb load. It has a bomb load of 9,000 kilos. I'm not sure how big is a tenth A's uh, bomb load, but like um, this thing has a very big bomb load, really. Now, what I did here is put uh, 240 countermeasures there. Uh, I got that pack of secondary weapons right there That way it's like zero and it gives you a lot I mean if you're gonna buy this thing you have to have one of these because like The normal uh, The normal how much you have flares and chaff is like 30 flares and 30 chaff that is not sufficient enough And then I put two 20 millimeters on this thing because I need something which with what I can shred people with and then I got a one aim 9 l so you're probably wondering why did I get one aim 9 l because yeah I, I'm not really gonna bomb bases I mean you can use that slot for like bombs or something but like yeah I just am getting the um, 189L for things that I cannot really catch up to or things I'm not fast as. I mean, this thing is faster. It is faster though than A10, but it, is that really that good of a thing when you have a 30 millimeter? Canyon, I mean, having a 30 millimeter cannon is just enough, honestly, that is for me. Speed is not important if you have a 30 millimeter cannon that delivers freedom very quickly. But yeah, I honestly use bombs only for bombing bases. Like, literally, uh, that is the only thing I see viable for bases and then for Cas, I would use. I mean, in uh, like Cas, in like normal uh, ground battles, I would of course use bombs. But yeah, like here, here I would never actually like use bombs to kill these things on the ground. Even though you can do that, but you get a lot more by destroying base. Now.
What I can do is probably like turn this thing has absolutely bad turn time. Can I just like heck? Hey, pretty sharp. That's nice. Oh, well, that's fine. I cannot dog fight in this thing, though. Yeah, I have to go bomb that base real quick. All right, we got that dude right here. All right, that wasn't that bad of a kill, honestly. But yeah, this thing has such a bad turn time actually, it's quite bad. So yeah, you can primarily use this only for bombing bases here, like, and some gas. Like, destroying planes is very hard in this thing, I would say. But I still did it, because I can. I mean, both are very good, but like, a10 costs $10, and this thing costs $70 to $75. So, I think a bit better, I mean, honestly, you should not be spending money on premiums at all. But like, if you really want to have a fun time, I would really just like, take A10, honestly. Or A6 E tram. I mean, about KT GMs, I don't really know, but this is like a casual overview from my side, from air battles, and I would, I would really like pick 30 mm can, like in A10 is just colossal. Uh, I just love it honestly, and. This thing is a rank above actually, it's, yeah, uh, I think it's rank 7, and this, and A10 is rank 6, so with this thing you will be able to like, grind out the whole tech tree, oh, well, it's turn time, turn time is really bad, so yeah, I would really just say, I would really just say, like, take A10 if you have 60 bucks, of course. And yeah, A10 is honestly just better. See you in the next video. That's all.